What's up guys? In this video, I'll tell you exactly how much to lead and what the bullet drop is with the SPR for multiple ranges. Let's take a look at the loadout and right after that, dive into the results. So this is my long range SPR setup. It has a high bullet velocity, which means there is less bullet drop and the amount you have to lead on moving targets is minimal. It's just such a great loadout if you like to sit in a bush or stand on top of a building and just sit there and camp. Just camp. It's so much fun. Yeah. Now the ADS is quite slow, so whenever I play with this Marksman Rival, I either combine it with an AR or SMG, and most of the time I just pick my MP7, which is kind of set up for medium to long range for SMGs, if that makes sense. Now, as opposed to the Car 98, which I covered in last video, um, this one has way higher bullet velocity. It was so much easier to gather all data that I needed, and if you don't like sitting in bushes and like to win battles from enemies with ARs, definitely, definitely check that one out by clicking the card in the corner. I chose the monolithic suppressor for uh, the added range, the 26 inch barrel for the bullet velocity and damage range, and then the tag laser. I basically use it for all three benefits, the aim down side speed, aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness. Um, especially the aim walking steadiness is great. I never stand still whenever I'm engaging with targets um, or even actually I never stand still. Um, it, it makes you such an easy target. Uh, make sure you're always moving around zoomed in or not zoomed in. Just move around. Now I've played with both the variable zoom scope and the default scope. The variable zoom scope has a bit more zoom and since this is a long range setup I figured to have the extra zoom over having an extra slot for another attachment. Makes sense, right? Now let's take a look at the testing results. I won't bother you with the details of my testing methodology and whatever not. Um, it basically comes down to me gathering a lot of data, fill it in in my model in Excel, and validate the results from my model by recording plenty kills and comparing the results with the output from my model. Now let's take a look at the cheat sheet. It might seem a bit overwhelming and you might actually die a couple times because you wasted time by looking at the cheat sheet, uh, but after a little while it, it will definitely help you out. The red column shows the distances and the black column shows the bullet drop. Now uh, I already pinged the guy before taking the shot. I knew he was at about 370 meters and as you can see in the sheet uh, I should aim a bit less than 70 centimeters above his head to get a headshot. Let's take a look at the clip. Laggy as fuck. Let's try that again. Okay, let's skip back a couple of frames. Oh, oh. Yeah, clean headshot. Now let's move on to moving targets. Uh, take a look at the last three columns. These are used to identify the lead for walking, sprinting or tactical sprinting enemies. Now it's easy to spot a guy that is using tactical sprint. They all think they are fast fuck boy, running with their weapon up. Now the guy in the next clip, he was jogging as if he was just chilling in the park. But little did he know, I was sitting in a bush, camping, at 412 meters, making calculations. Now I'm pretty sure the bullet drop is about 70 centimeters, and the lead is about 220 centimeters. Let's watch how he runs into my bullet. Now when I took this shot I was already familiar with the cheat sheet and had practiced with it for a bit so I didn't have to take a quick look to check how much I would have to lead and what the bullet drop is. So that's it again, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, I will be glad to help you out. Also let me know what sniper or marksman rival I should cover next time and you can grab the cheat sheets in the discord, the links in the description or bio depending on where you're watching this um, and leave a like if you appreciate the content. and.
drop a dislike if you think it sucks and subscribe to not miss out on the next Back by Data video. Peace out.